There's a word in Korean, inyon. It means providence or fate. Do you believe in that? That's the voice of Greta Lee. Eli and I are going to talk about her in just a second, but some of the scenes from the film Past Lives. Just moments ago, nominated for Best Picture and Best Original Screenplay for the 96th Academy Awards coming up in March. Eli was with me as those nominations were announced live. He's back now that we've counted up who got what in terms of nominations. <laughs> That's a Canadian, very strong Canadian connection to that film, and it's, and it's in there. I mean... Past Lives is a movie about how we move through the world and how we move through our relationships. And it starts with these two very close friends very in close. Korea. They're growing up together and they have this kind of connection with each other. And then they reconnect online, but then their lives take them to different places. And there she is later on, played by Greta Lee. She's married now, but then this friend from her life comes back into her life and these questions are posed. And Celine Song, who was a playwright, who wrote the screenplay, who was Oscar nominated this morning with a best, best picture, she saw people meeting in a bar. And that's what inspired this amazing story with universal resonance. So Past Lives, one of the beautiful kind of a Canadian uh, little, you know, underdogs that is breaking through right now and just appealing Fantastic. to so many. But Wonderful Greta stuff. Lee did not get Best Actress nod, not, so we not. were talking about that. Uh, it was the summer of Barbie Heimer. Yes. I think I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Barbie won at the box office. Oppenheimer is winning as far as the awards go and certainly did again in terms of number of nominations today. I think you're going to hear a lot of people talking about Barbie and talking about the fact that uh, Greta Gerwig overlooked in the directing category. Margot Robbie, Barbie herself, overlooked in the lead actress category. Ryan Gosling in there, also in there for I'm Just Ken. Maybe we'll get to hear that uh, during the Oscars. But, uh, I mean, a Bar Barbie doing quite quite well, but it is that strange thing where you're applauding the success of this billion and a half dollar pink box office monster, and yet <clears throat> Greta, who is so critical to the vision of like, how do you bring a doll to life and find something to say? American Ferreira was nominated this morning supporting actress. She remember, she has that amazing speech about what it is to be a woman, but mm -hmm. Greta Gerwig, not in the mix, but let's move on to Oppenheimer because okay. that is, in terms of Barbenheimer, it's all Oppenheimer this Sir morning. 13 nominations. 13 nominations, all the major categories, all the major actors, Killian Murphy, Robert Downey Jr., he's probably the one to be. Christopher Nolan, I would not be surprised to see him win for Best Director. If I had to predict right now, I would say that is your um, Best Picture uh, winner hmm. in, in, in a very tight race. But uh, Oppenheimer, remarkable accomplishment, maybe one of the most ambitious things uh, Christopher Nolan has ever done, and uh, certainly enjoying things this morning. Other big winners are some of the films that you gave the highest ratings to <laughs> over the course of the last year. Maestro has been interesting. I loved Maestro. I remember I saw it with our friend Jenna. We were both just overwhelmed with emotion. It's such a potent piece of cinema. Bradley Cooper becoming Leonard Bernstein. Uh, six years preparing to become that man. Uh, doing very well this morning in terms of nominations for Bradley. Uh, and for Carrie, Carrie Mulligan. And Carrie Mulligan. Uh, as like really, you know, that amazing kind of tortured love story. The woman who was always in the wings. So Maestro doing quite nicely. Uh, I want to move on to, to, to Kill a Tiger. Getting back to some amazing... We have a lot of Canadians to talk about this morning. To, tell a, to Kill a Tiger is a harrowing documentary about a father and his daughter. And his daughter, 13 years old, is raped, and in this small town, he's essentially pushing back and pushing against that code of silence hmm. and and leading it almost looks like at times an investigation. This is from Nisa Nisha Pahuja. She's born in India, moved to Toronto at a young age. This is a National Film Board uh, co-production and uh, it is nominated this morning in the documentary category. That is fantastic. Keeping the Canadian love going, Killers of the Flower Moon. Now you mm -hmm. think, what are you talking about, Eli? Martin Scorsese. There's Leonardo DiCaprio. Looked over this morning. So Lily Gladstone making history. First Indigenous performer in the lead actress category nominated. Fantastic. Somehow DiCaprio overlooked for his role as Ernest, but Robbie, De Niro's in. De Niro's in. Scorsese's in. But Robbie Robertson, the musician we love, 
he loved Scorsese. And Scorsese, we don't even realize how tight that bond was. Scorsese was heartbroken when Robbie died, and yet he managed to finish the score for this remarkable uh, film, and he is nominated uh, this morning.